on your journey. Don't mess with fire. Don't mess with fire. Somebody said without worry. <laughs> okay. Now I was a fireman, guys. I was a fireman for a couple of years. And I know that fire can be good, fire can be bad. Now if you go to the kitchen there, you can cook. Talk to Mr. Dave. You can cook without fire. So fire does some good things. But at the same time, fire can burn. And once it burns, the burn can be pretty serious. And I say this because once I was on the farm with my mom. And she was working with my sisters. And I was trying to fool around, trying to check the potatoes that were on the fire. My mom turned to me and said, hey, little boy, you get away from there, you know fire burns. I said, mom, I know. He said, hey, little boy, I've told you to go away. You know, now in the dry season, the dry season, the wind direction can change suddenly. Get away from here. I said, mommy, I know. Then she kept on working with my sisters. And then she saw me trying to reach out for the potato. She said, little boy, didn't I ask you to go away? I said, mommy, I know. My mom and my sisters are very nice people. They just kept on working. They forgot about me. And I kept on stretching my hand, trying to reach that, that fattest potato on the fire. And suddenly, there was a change in the wind direction. And I was engulfed in the flames. My hair, my eyelashes were severely burnt. For well over two weeks, I looked pretty much like Yoda. <laughs> no kidding. She came, asked me, did I ask you not to go there? Now my eyes were already burnt. I looked up to her, and she could not even recognize me as a little boy. My dear friends, there is some stuff out there that some senior people tell us, which is not meant to destroy us. It's actually meant to hurt us. But we usually don't see it that way. We usually think that, ah, maybe because they want to take advantage of us, it's because they don't want us to benefit from something that they have already benefited from home. But the fact is, it looks like the older I get, the wiser I become. And some of the things that my mom used to tell me, which I thought were totally stupid, which I thought were totally out of place, now I'm beginning to realize that, oh my goodness, if I just listened to her a little bit more, perhaps my grades should have been better. Perhaps I should have gone to a better school. Perhaps I should have done something else in my life. Now, question is, is there some stuff, are there some fires also burning in your own life that you need to be watchful of? You know there are some fires here that are really raging, they are raging fires that are even bigger than those fires in Africa. Fires like pornography. My little brother-in-law who is uh, 14 years, my wife called him the other day, he was checking out some porn. <laughs> <laughs> Right on my wife's cell phone, guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> on her very Blackberry phone right at home. Hell yeah. Now, there was a conversation, quite a long conversation between him and, and my wife. Now, but this is a deal. Some of this stuff we think that, okay, it comes in, it goes out. I'm sorry. It comes in and it sticks around for a very long time. It doesn't go out. You see, our brain is like a hard drive. It records all those images and it stays there for a very long time. So I want to encourage you guys, as you think about the stuff that you are involved in, think about the fact that some of those fires can actually burn you today or burn you later. The last thing you want to be is that goofy guy whose eyelashes were burnt. You're not going to get a date again.